Morning. Looks like we could get wet today. Yep, it's looking very dismal today. Um, I'd like to thank everybody yesterday for all the happy birthday messages. Uh, I was really blown away by it. Um, can't believe how many there were on TikTok and also how many there were on YouTube. Um, today, hopefully we're going to get them buckets swapped over, the brackets, so that we can use the big bucket again. And um, fingers crossed nothing breaks down, but can't guarantee it. First things first, we'll get a mix done. And while I'm walking around here, I just remind people to subscribe and like if you're enjoying our video content and love farming. Um, if you're thinking that this video is looking a bit different and you're going to see more of my arm today, um, that's true. Because my wife has bought me something for my birthday. I'll show you. So she got me this beast. Uh, so now I look like a bit like Tom Pemberton when I'm walking around. I just need my sound muffler and uh, I'll be away. <laughs> I feel remotely professional with this in my hand. So right now I'm in the nine meter. I'm gonna get on the bucket and start this mix up. Still not got these camera skills uh, sorted in the uh, in the JCB so. <laughs> so right now I am filling the mixer with the silage. Steady away. Come on, come out, come on. Okay, stuff it, just get some. So Andy and Emma down there, strawing those cattle up. Andy's just getting the outside done, because even though it's raining, we like to keep it clean. Oh, I just noticed his look. <laughs> yeah, great job guys. Just putting in the molasses from here, so I don't even have to get off the seat. You can see that it's going in there. Thanks, Em! I think in a second what I'll do is I'll set up a time lapse. Might not be very professional though because it's not very light in there, but we'll see how it goes. That's it all tipped out. So Andy's just blowing a bit more straw in. It's about got it empty. It's a bit windy as well. It's blowing a lot of roof. Which is always great because it means you've got to clean the gutters out. Fantastic. These guys look happy eating their fodder beet. I want another bale of silage here as well in a minute. Just to keep them going. Hey guys, how are we doing? Yep, stand to attention. Yeah, they really love that fodder bee. So it looks like my dad and Em are just finishing with the fodder bee feeding that round. I'm guessing he'll go back on to feeding out the barley because I've just tipped the mix off. Booshka. So just giving a silage to these new guys. How are we doing? You're being a bit vocal, aren't you? What's up? All nicely bedded up. Everything there. He's got a big head on him. Coffee cam's back. I think I missed it yesterday. We we're too busy. Had too many coffees, but we're back to four again. These guys here are waiting for him. Oh yeah. Right now we've just got some cattle out and we're going to weigh them and put them into a different pen. Um, and we're just gonna record all the weights on here so that we know if we're getting any that are close to going or whether they need a bit longer. Um, just to give us an idea really on the, on the weights of these customers. So we've got one comes in. I try and trap his head. There we go. Give him a little squeeze. 2187. 2187. Bring 87. Brings all the uh, details up. Doing 1.8 kilos per day. Then I let him go, automatically opens the front door, then shuts the front door, opens the back door, cow walks in, shuts the back door. If a cow puts his head through it, opens and shuts it so he doesn't trap its head. 
is what happened there. I trap its head, give it a little squeeze to calm him down. 758, that's with a two. 758, fetch that up, pop its weight in. Oh. 758, pop his weight in. That one's done two kilos per day. Just showing you there, two kilos. What's that, Em? You feel like a fisherman? Yeah, look. More green. <laughs> Do you want to tell us about what you've just been talking about? Or? I asked Joe, I asked Joe, his wife put roses in his bathroom. She didn't, she didn't, Em. I said that she didn't. Why? <laughs> she 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 elaborated on the story about what she did. She wanted a bath last night. She couldn't she couldn't get in because there were all petals in there. And it weren't no mist to put them in, were it? Must have been dad daddy and mummy. <laughs> she had earplugs in last night, didn't she, Andy? <laughs> Really? That was a surprise! <laughs> so I've got um, the one extreme of Emily talking about the rose petals and then Andy just told me about this interesting programme wasn't it Andy? Yeah. What's it about? Uh, about castles. <laughs> about castles. Yeah. He loves it. He's got his National Trust uh, membership guys. He's on it. So I think we're all ready for our dinner now and then after dinner him and Andy are gonna Got the silent sheep back, if I can see, find it through this sun. Uh, we've got some cows to vaccinate. Um, what else we got to do? Move some cows. Oh, it's all happening. So Andy and Em are just sorting out that silent sheet. Em's having a drive on the nine metre. I've had my dinner and I am fully charged and ready to go. So right now we are vaccinating. I'll let this one go, he comes out of the crush, nice and steady, automatically the door's shut, the back door's open, then they shut, and the idea is we do this process as quickly as possible. 29.57 Starts with a 5 or a 2 5 and um, yeah, you can clip this one's back, Em. Um. Andy vaccinates, Em um, clips the back, worms it, then Andy will uh, fluke it. Now put a tag in. We're aiming for well under a minute doing this. So the cow isn't stressed out for too long. Business. It's like a wall of tractors. And then Em um, goes in middle, blocks gap, don't you, Em? business so em's gonna fetch these four into their pen so let's keep talking to him oh he's feeling giddy this one there you go buddy get yourself in there make some new pals See him skipping around in there. Andy's struggling with his gear. It's a bit tight, isn't it, Andy? <laughs> Let's give him some beans. Go on. Oh, he's got it in all. Well done, Andy. Great success. Dale's new wagon. Red and green. He's had a bit of an issue with that. He ordered the box to be green, but when he turned up at the... Uh, Houghton Park House, it was red. <laughs> but he needed the white, he needed the box because he didn't have a wagon. I think he looks alright though. A little tidy little wagon he's got there. So we've got Emma and Andy down here just doing a little bit of cleaning up so we can get the troughs in. Because it's looking a bit untidy and it's gonna rain. So making it look nice. Now, didn't it, Em? Um? Yeah. And 
he's still on it though. I think he's trying to wet concrete away. He's looking. He's trying his hardest, he is. So me and M now are off. Look at that, I can hold it even further out, M, with this thing that I've got. Um, I'm still not in it though. Six You've disappeared. I'm here, I'm here. We're here. Are you together? Here? Yeah. We're here. Oh, she's here. here. <laughs> We're going to go and put them brackets on that bucket anyway. Yep. Um, so yeah, M opens the door. I'll, I'll get in on JCB. Business. So yeah, me and M are going to take off this and this, the brackets that hold it onto the JCB, and put them onto this one. My dad's going to build some more, he says, doesn't he, M? So he says, so we've got a load of Trafford Gold here. Rockley, 500 horsepower Volvo Beast. Nice. I don't know. Oh, Andy must have done it, I think. Andy's gonna get, uh, M's gonna get that weighed out now. And he'll be on his way. So that is us just about finished for the day because I've got to get off because my wife wants to do a spinning uh, lesson. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking after kids. But yeah, if, um, if you like our stuff, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and what will we do, Em? We will see you tomorrow, won't we? We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye -bye.